Dear friends, I want to wish you a Shabbat Shalom for a very special Shabbat as we will be reading in synagogues across the world the Ten Commandments. This is the Torah portion in which we went through the experience of all the Jewish people who had left Egypt standing at the foot of Mount Sinai and hearing God himself communicate the Ten Commandments, the opening of the Torah to the Jewish people. The event that changed us, changed the world, and gave us the ability to transform the world to its fullest potential. It's all in our hands, given to us when we got the Torah. And it's interesting that this weekend is the gathering of the Shluchais, the women of Chabad, of the couples, the, the, the wives, the Rebetzins, who were sent by the Rebbe and continue to go around the world to fill every town and city with a Jewish presence and Jewish life, today numbering between four to 5,000 families and close to that amount of centers who are in the middle of transforming the world. And as we know, even when Hashem gave the Torah to the Jewish people, He told Moshe, first address the women, and then you'll talk to the men. If you get the women to accept, receive, they're the foundation, they're the ones who set the tone for the Jewish people, the men will follow. And Moshe did exactly that. And this has been the story of the Jewish people throughout our time. The Jewish mothers, everyone knows their Jewish mother always pushed them to their potential and uh, always wanted a lot for them. This is uh, imbre- embedded in, the, in, in what it means to be a Jewish mother, what it means to be a Jewish woman, to believe in what many people don't imagine is true. How many people tell me, if not for my mother believing in me, I wouldn't be anything what I am. They believed in even what their children didn't believe in. But yet, because they believed so much in their children, eventually their children stepped up and lived up to what their mother expected, perhaps, but definitely knew what could become of them. And the truth is, one of the fascinating things we find when Hashem gave us the Torah, initially Hashem's plan was, it seems, that Moshe would would teach us the whole Torah, not only the 603 commandments and, and the rest of the Torah, but even the first 10 commandments. But the Jewish people made a statement, and they said, We want nothing less than to experience God Himself. If we are going now on a mission that our entire being and existence will be about serving God in this world, being the front line of serving God and His purpose in this world and letting the world know what God wants from this universe and from every human being and from the entire existence. Moshe, we love you, but we want to hear God's voice. We need to connect to that source of infinite energy, to the source of infinite light and blessings, because this is not humanly possible. To change a person, how hard is it to change a habit you have in your life? How hard is it to change a person's entire trajectory of life? What about an entire community, city, country, culture? We want to see God. It was a difficult encounter because a human being cannot really experience listening to God and stay humanly, physical, tied to a physical life of such mundane things as eat and sleep and all bodily needs. It it doesn't make sense. This doesn't happen. So we wanted to feel God. And God made a short appearance. And we didn't lose out. Because what every soul was there then at that time, we all felt God. And our job is to envision that moment. When we read the Ten Commandments this Shabbat, when you're at home, envision that moment when we stood on Mount Sinai. And God changed the trajectory of the entire world, not just of a people, but of the entire world. He infused an ability to accomplish the impossible, to dream of perfection and to believe that we mere human mortals can make it happen. 
And we then, then believed in it and we started it. And every one of us has to make sure we buy into it to realize we can actually make real change. So let's make it happen. So we want to wish all the women who have been able to come in person and all those who will be on Zoom, they should continue their leadership in all the areas around the world in over a hundred countries and many, many cities and towns and areas where they are serving and, and, and running institutions with their husbands. There should be incredible success because their success is the success of the Jewish people. May we merit the coming of Mashiach quickly in our days to have the perfect world, the world of Mashiach, descend upon us and may be the beginning of the next era of only bliss and blessing. Shabbat Shalom. God bless you all. We love you all. Candlelighting time on Joe, 427 p.m.